These are the steps for installing the pre-radiused LC connector using EZ adhesive. The multi-mode LC connector includes the beige connector body, a support boot, and a dust cap. Begin by sliding the buffer support over the fiber. Using the stripping tool, strip one half inch or 12 millimeters of buffer and coating from the end of the fiber. Be sure to hold the stripper firmly to ensure both the buffer and the coating are removed. Clean the glass fiber with isopropyl alcohol and a clean wipe, ensuring all debris is removed. Place the fiber in the holder and apply one drop of primer on the buffer. Place a wipe on the table and squeeze a drop of primer onto it. Wipe the end of the connector through the primer one time. Insert the connector into the holder ensuring the latch is aligned. Invert the bottle of EZ adhesive. When there is adhesive at the tip, insert the syringe tip all the way into the connector ferrule. Increase pressure until a bead of adhesive is visible at the connector tip. While maintaining pressure, pull the syringe tip back to insert a drop of adhesive at the rear of the ferrule. Carefully insert the stripped fiber into the connector, ensuring the buffer is seated inside the connector ferrule. A slight rotation of the connector may help. Press the buffer into the holder extension. Place the connector assembly into the holding block and allow at least one minute to cure. Having removed the holder from the block, carefully remove the connector from the holder. Remove excess adhesive from the tip. Score the fiber close to the ferrule using a single stroke of the cleaving tool. Remove the fiber by gently pulling away from the tip. Place the fiber scrap into a sharps bin. Carefully push and seat the buffer support onto the connector body. Insert the connector into the polishing tool, taking care not to touch the tool with the connector tip. Remove the fiber stub using green type H polishing paper and an air polish. Use light circular motions of about 1 inch or 25 millimeters in diameter. Polish for about 20 figure eights. Clean the polishing plate and polishing tool with isopropyl alcohol. Use canned air to dry the polishing plate and the polishing tool. Use alcohol and canned air to clean and dry the dull side of the green type H paper. Insert the connector into the polishing tool, taking care not to touch the tool with the connector tip. Each polishing sheet can be used to polish four connectors. So start in one corner and work your way around the sheet. Place the polishing tool onto the paper and polish using 12 to 15 light figure eight strokes. Turn the polishing tool 90 degrees after eight strokes to accomplish a more uniform polish. The figure 8 should be well rounded. Check the connector tip using a microscope. Here is an example of a good connector. This is an example of a chipped connector. If any adhesive remains, polish the connector tip with a few more figure 8s. Single mode connectors have different polishing steps. The single mode LC connector includes the blue connector body, a support boot, and a dust cap. After air polishing, as shown earlier with the multi-mode connector, the single mode connector requires polishing on two different papers. Begin by polishing on H paper, the same type as the multi-mode, with 8 to 10 figure 8s. 
There should be no drag between the connector and the paper. Turn the polishing tool 90 degrees after five strokes to accomplish a more uniform polish. Remove the connector from the polishing tool. Place a sheet of white type E paper over the type H paper, dull side up. Place a small amount of distilled water on the paper and distribute the water using an empty polishing tool. Place the connector back into the polishing tool and polish using six to eight well-rounded figure eights. Cleaned with a wipe moistened in alcohol. Then dry on another part of the wipe. Check the connector tip using a microscope. This is an example of a good connector. This is an example of a dirty connector. This concludes the installation steps for the LC connector.